Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So, uh, yeah, what is this? Beat low 45 or something like that? Um, got a few things going on here. So, we got some viewer appreciation mail that showed up. A um, couple things. Uh, one from a fellow YouTuber. We're going to show that here in a little bit. Um, pretty cool item. And um, we got the, uh, the mystery tool from last week. Uh, we're going to reveal what, that, what that's for. And a lot of uh, a lot of guesses on that one, and uh, uh, two guys got it right. Um, and uh, I'll put their names up, and when we show the tool, and um, um, and then we're going to introduce a, another mystery tool. So I've been uh, I've been uh, working pretty hard to come up with these mystery tools, right? And because uh, um, you guys are pretty good at it, and are, um, are good at searching anyway, so. Uh, uh, so I've been scrambling to find uh, uh, good mystery tools, and I, I put out the word to all my uh, local uh, uh, friends and stuff, uh, the, if they come up with something, to send it my way so I can uh, have a little bit of backlog, so I, I got some good mystery tools. Um, went to the flea market on Sunday and got pretty much skunked. Uh, it was a, a lousy flea market. There's a big car show uh, down in Pleasanton this weekend, so... I think a lot of people were uh, down at the car show. And um, anyway, uh, the other thing is we uh, we showed the videos on the uh, making a, a gold uh, 45 RPM record. Uh, this is a thrust washer. Um, you couldn't see the uh, the wobble gear in the uh, in the uh, uh, in that video. So I figured I'd just hold it up for guys that haven't uh, haven't seen it. And it's a Cycloidal drive, um, kind of a uh, kind of like a harmonic drive, but a little different. And that's a washer that fits in this assembly here. And uh, here's a bearing. Uh, this is one of the bearings for the uh, um, one of the bearings for the etching press. Uh, this is a 130 millimeter OD and a 75 millimeter ID. So the the press has four of these bearings in the, uh, in the design. So. Uh, so we're gonna have a bunch more of that work coming up too. So, uh, so let's uh, pop over at the table and uh, we'll take a look at some uh, take a look at some cool stuff and uh, go from there. Okay, so um, we showed this uh, uh, as our mystery tool last week, and we got actually a lot of response on that, which was kind of cool. And um, and most people were most people were guessing that. It was for holding sheet metal, okay, and uh, it would certainly work for that, okay. And in fact, that's what uh, uh, I intend to use these for, okay. But that is not what these are for. Um, these actually have a very interesting use, and um, um, two guys got it right, and uh, and I'm gonna I got their names I got their names here. You can see them. These are the two guys that uh, that guessed correctly what this thing is. So um, um, you see, it's got a little pin here, and but the pin's at an angle, um, and this is well worn here. So it's got brass grippers on it. Okay, so this is not a hardened gripper, which you might expect if it was a sheet metal uh, grabbing thing, but you, you can see here it doesn't particularly grab sheet metal that well. So some people suggested that this was a uh, a plate clamp for uh, lifting um, uh, lifting steel plates or things like that. That's not the case here. Uh, this doesn't have enough uh, spring pressure and the curvature of this doesn't lend itself to uh, uh, the harder you pull the more it tightens up kind of situation. Okay. So what this is, uh, believe it or not, it's for stretching uh, hides. And uh, you can grab the, the leather like so, and you would, use, you would use a bunch of these. And there's a, uh, a board or a plate or whatnot that, that looks like pegboard that's got a bunch of holes in it. And what you do is you, you clamp the leather when it's wet or whatever, and, uh, and you, you tug on this and then this pin inserts into the hole, and you have a whole array of these things around uh, around the hide, um, you know, pulling it uh, kind of uniformly because they would typically be in odd shape, right? So, you know, 
they use frames and whatnot, but this is a, a quick way to uh, to stretch leather. So um, on the side here it says uh, uh, Gozzini, um, which is a, an Italian company that makes uh, leather tanning machinery, and then it's got another uh, um, another name on the side there, and hope maybe you can see that. Okay, and there's a Gozzini there. Okay. So anyway, it's kind of cool, and if you'll notice also uh, another, another that where the leather or material inserts here is pretty far off of the bottom, right? So if this was a sheet metal thing, we'd be looking for this thing to be down fairly low to the uh, to the bottom. Although I, I plan on using them for that. Um, so uh, anyway, kind of a neat tool, and uh, it's a leather leather grabbing and uh, and tanning. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, device and this one looks like it's seen a lot of use so uh, anyway thanks for playing guys that was great and um, uh, so we're gonna introduce a new one here in a minute okay so um, this uh, this week's mystery tool is this guy right here and uh, I covered up the uh, I covered up the name to, to make it a little harder on you guys so um, uh, we'll take a look at this here, and uh, this moves in and out like so. Okay, uh, I haven't discovered the function of this particular uh, knob. Um, this has a couple of positions that you can move this, and this also has the ability to rotate like this. Okay, now it has these uh, these balls here uh, that, you, that you can probably see. They don't rotate. This rotates. Okay, this moves in and out. All right. Anyway, if you think you know what that is, throw it up in the comments, and uh, uh, we'll see what the uh, we'll see what people come up with. Now, for those of you guys that see this patent number on here, okay, come on, play fair. Don't just go look the patent up and uh, and then post that. Okay, um, we want. We want folks that uh, that have personal experience with these things, or uh, uh, or know out of their brains. Anybody can Google, okay? So uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's use our brains on this, okay? All right. Anyway, that's this week's uh, mystery tool. Okay, so we got a little uh, um, a little viewer appreciation mail from. Um, um, actually, this is a it was a funny package. This comes to us uh, from Frank Reitz and uh, he's in North Carolina and Frank sent me a sticker which you guys will get a kick out of here and you're always hearing me talking about uh, Mr. Bozo right and uh, we don't want him around the shop uh, in general um, but he sent me this sticker which is awesome and um, um, actually I'm probably I'm gonna have to find some more of these things because this is a great sticker here and uh, uh, to put up around the shop so Frank uh, Thanks for thinking of me, and uh, that's a pretty cool. Uh, that's a pretty cool little gift, and uh, appreciate it. And you'll, I'm gonna strategically place this in the background in the videos, uh, uh, so you guys get a kick out of it and, um, and get to see it once in a while. So thanks a lot, Frank. Appreciate it. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the next one here. Um, this is a new tool. Uh, not that I don't have any needle nose pliers, but. I, uh, I did something I haven't done in a long, long time, and I stopped by Sears, uh, Sears Roebuck, uh, which used to be a real kick-ass company that sold lathes and milling machines and like you know actually real stuff, and now they are just a shadow of their former self. Um, anyway, I went in there. Jesus, this stuff is thick. Um, I went in there. It's kind of a I would call it a, a mercy tool buy. Uh, the place is like, you know, the walking dead, I guess, um, and a shadow of its former self. But they had a couple of, a couple of deals, and this was one of them. This is made by Crescent, which is kind of a name brand, although I doubt Crescent actually makes these. They just brand it with their, with their uh, stuff. Get rid of that. Um, these are kind of interesting. I have a pair of these at work, and um, these are kind of neat because they have this double joint. Okay, so what's neat about this is you can 
you can reach down a um, I don't have a piece of tubing here, but you can reach down a, a small hole and you can still open them up nice and wide to get a hold of something, okay? Where if they have a single pivot, you know, they have to open a considerable amount. Now, what these are really nice for, guys, is pulling chips off of the lathe, okay? Where you want to, um, you know, a hook works pretty good, but sometimes you need to grab and actually pull and uh, you never want to pull on chips with your hands but uh, these are actually pretty nice here and um, your your hand doesn't have to open very much for this to open considerably here at this end so you can reach in there and you can grab some tip or uh, tips chips and uh, and pull them out safely and uh, and get them out of your way and drag them out of your way right um, anyway this little set here of two was on sale for $24, $22 or $24, something like that. I was gonna buy one pair like this for, and it was the pro version. Ooh, what does that mean? I don't know. Uh, basically, it had a different color grip on it uh, as far as I could see. Um, and, uh, you know, the joint looked maybe a little bit nicer, but not much, right? So then they had this kind of on sale for $24. So I said, gee, okay, four more bucks. I got a whole nother pair. And I think I like, I'm going to put these on the lathe and uh, use these for pulling chips and then just kind of have these around. Now I have, uh, let, me, let me grab them real quick. So these are the ones I've been using for a long time. Uh, and these are snap-ons here. And um, so these were probably... $60, $60 or something like that uh, when I bought them a long time ago. But you see, you have to open them. Let's, let's see if we can do a comparison there. Okay, so, yeah, I don't know. It's roughly, all right, so let's say kind of maximum hand width there. Okay, so, you know, these open uh, a, a bit, quite a bit more than these for the same kind of handle opening. Duh, let's just lay them on top there, Mr. Wizard. All right, something like that. So, if they, well, they're also longer too. I don't know, it's kind of hard to make a comparison, but uh, um, these open, they seem to open more for the same amount of hand, uh, hand grab there, or hand extension. Anyway, uh, um, they also had some kind of name brand stuff. They sold some Greenlee um, um, electrical contractor tools and they had uh, some Baco um, and uh, what was the other one? Um, uh, anyway, they had some kind of name brand stuff there. And, and, you know, since it looks like they're going off the cliff, a lot of stuff's on sale. Um, but boy, they got some zombies working there too. So. Um, um, Anyway, beware. So go prepared for zombies. Anyway, uh, I thought you might like that. Okay, so my one find at the flea market um, <laughs> is this thing here. And uh, you're like, gee, what the hell is that, right? And uh, I don't know, some of you guys may already know what this is here, but it's a, it's a whistle that somebody made. And uh, you know, it's just kind of an odd construction. I don't know uh, what kind of glue they used here, but uh, it's a little bit weird. Um, and it's got these different length pipes on it here. And uh, you can see the little whistle element in here. So, you know, maybe they followed a, uh, a recipe on YouTube or something like that and made this whistle here. Uh, and it's got a little valve system. So we're gonna, we're gonna try it out here. And uh, I got my, my noisy little compressor pumped up here. And uh, actually, you know what? Uh, maybe I'll, uh, um, oh, this is probably not framed that great here. Yeah, let me, uh, I think I'll change the camera around a little bit and then uh, we can uh, kind of try it, uh, <laughs> try it in, uh, in full view, so. Okay, so there it is. You kind of get an idea of size here. And we'll, uh, we'll hook this sucker up. Okay, uh, this one's for you, Keith Rucker. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> anyway, uh, 
you know, uh, I saw this laying there and I was like, what the heck is that? So I picked it up and I went, son of a gun, that's a whistle. And this is a guy uh, that he's out there all the time. And um, anyway, his prices are generally not great. And, uh, but I just said, I picked it up and he goes, $15. And, uh, and uh, so, you know, I looked at it and I was looking at these and he goes, you can have it for $12. And I, I still didn't say anything, you know, and I was playing around with it and looking at it. And, uh, and I, I, so I got my wallet out and then, uh, I handed him a $20 bill and he hands me back a 10, ah, $10. And uh, so anyway, that was 10 bucks. And um, so I have to figure out how to make this into a, into a doorbell somehow. But somehow you got to keep everybody from, uh, from not pushing the button a million times. So uh, <laughs> anyway, the little train whistle there, flea market fine. Okay, so this next one here, um, this comes from another uh, fellow YouTuber here. And uh, this is uh, Greg Halligan. And um, he's a uh, he's he's back east, and uh, his channel is uh, Halligan 142. And um, th uh, this is the first time I've been in, in touch with him. And uh, and I watch Greg's videos, and uh, when I'm when I'm catching up, and uh, he was doing one that interested me, which which was this um, compressor made out of a um, um, a refrigeration uh, a scroll pump. And uh, anyway, uh, so I'm, I've been following that one a little bit. And uh, anyway, so kind of out of the blue, he, he shoots me an email and asks for my address. And uh, he says, I got something for you. So uh, anyway, we're going to show that in a second here. But he, uh, um, you know, the, the, he's got a, a real nice line in here. Uh, I learned my given trade from others who taught me. And I wanted to hand down a little of that knowledge. I've come across others who can use it and know you're the same way. I know it's time consuming to make them, and he's talking about the videos, and, um, and a job which may have taken an hour takes twice that from fiddling around with camera angles. Keep making them and I'll keep watching them. Anyway, that's, uh, you know, that's always really nice to hear that kind of stuff and uh, um, that you know, people appreciate what you're doing. And you know, as, in general, across the board all the comments are really good and you guys are really supportive and I and I appreciate that and Greg thank you very much for those uh, for those uh, that nice letter and for this very very nice gift that I'm going to show here um, so this is what was in the box here and uh, so he made the box and I can I can smell the the fresh varnish on the box and I can even see Greg, I think I have an example of your fingerprint in here now uh, too. So, because uh, <laughs> I think uh, he, he he varnished this and then uh, and then and then packed it up and sent it. So uh, anyway, you got the little logo on there and it's a little wood box. So we're gonna open it up. And he said uh, that this green felt he relined a, a Gerstner box and um, um, and this is some of the leftover felt. So he made me a little wooden box and everything. And what's in here? Let's pop it out. We'll set that aside here. And what this is, is um, you guys may remember in my video uh, where we did this thing here. And this is a, uh, uh, a hard inch uh, tool height setter. And it's got this movable top and an, and an adjustable body so that you can, um, you can catch the underside of the tool or the tool tip on that uh, you know, while this is sitting, um, um, sitting on the... Uh, it, on the hard inch, it's got a flat slide on top, so you just pop that on top. But mine, I use a, a spanner bar. Well, Greg picked up that I said I said somewhere in the video, uh, gee, I should have made this out of brass, this extension piece. Well, he took that to heart, and he made one from scratch, all out of brass, which is pretty cool here. And it's got a very, very long range here, which is really nice. Uh, this one's pretty short range. And then it has the, uh, uh, the rotating... Uh, uh, bit here that you can catch the uh, the tool and he put a little magnet in the bottom uh, So that it you know kind of stays in place when you're using it right you, and if you touch it It doesn't it doesn't immediately fall in the chip pan so and it's all polished up It's real nice. You know, it's got a nice neural on it and stuff. So Greg. Thank you very much. That's a really special gift um, and uh, so I, What I'll probably do is set this one up for a different machine now um, um, well, 
I'll probably end up getting another lathe, so I'll probably need two of these, and because it's not going to be the same lathe, and uh, they'll be different heights, so uh, I'll make use of both of these. So uh, um, anyway, that's just a really, real special handmade gift. There's nothing like, um, there's nothing like getting a handmade gift. You know, I mean, I know what it takes to build stuff like this. I got a pretty good idea, and um, you know, to put that out there and uh, and. Uh, um, you know, put that effort in and then just kind of send it out into the, uh, into the world. Right. Uh, um, you know, it's, it takes some, uh, it takes some effort and I really appreciate it. So, uh, in this cool box, you know, and oops. Okay. There it goes. Now I gotta, I gotta run it in a little bit here to get it in the box. Actually, uh, I can run it in a little farther there. Yeah. It's just, too cool for school, man. <laughs> Greg, thanks very much. Hey, and if you guys haven't checked out Greg's channel, go check it out. He does some great stuff over there. Um, he just moved his shop uh, into a, uh, um, I think he moved completely out of one house into another house. So he's cre uh, he created a whole new shop space in the uh, in the basement. He's wired it and plumbed it and, and doing all kinds of stuff. And uh, Greg, I think he does a uh, HVAC stuff for a living. So he's real knowledgeable on that stuff, and um, uh, and check out that compressor series too. Very good. Anyway, Greg, thank you very much. Uh, I'll uh, uh, I'll treasure that. Thank you.